go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. Contact right. Okay, engine stop. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. I'm going to step off the land now. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. <laughs> The moon means lots of different things to different people. Whatever it means to you, it's always there. The moon is Mr. Dependable, rising above the ground every month. As it moves across the sky, it slowly reveals more and more of itself as it builds up to the stunning full moon we see. It's well worth a look at the moon when it's not full, though. That line that separates the light and dark side of the moon is given the rather scary name of the Terminator. But there's nothing scary about it. That line of shadow helps pick out amazing detail in the craters and mountains on the moon. So try taking a look at the moon through a pair of binoculars or a small telescope. The Terminator is definitely the best place to look. But don't get confused. Those big black patches you see on the moon are not craters. Astronomers call them seas. Now of course, they don't have water in them like seas do on Earth. They are something very different. They are actually great flat plains on the moon that were caused by lava spilling out onto the surface when it was much younger. And that lava gives us a big clue as to how the moon even got there in the first place. Astronomers believe that billions of years ago the Earth was much bigger and had no moon. And something massive slammed into the surface of the Earth. Something so massive it was probably the size of Mars. The collision was so violent it sent chunks of the young Earth hurtling out into space. But these chunks of the Earth couldn't get far enough away to escape the gravity of the Earth and so settled into orbit around it. Then over time gravity pulled all the pieces together to form the Moon. Originally it was a hot molten ball of rock, but over time it cooled down to form the Moon that we can all see today. But unfortunately the Moon won't always be the spectacular sight in the night sky that it is at the moment, because the Moon is actually moving away from the Earth. In fact, it moves away by about 3 centimetres every year. Now that doesn't sound like much, but over millions of years those little 3 centimetre steps will add up. Well we're coming towards the end of our very quick look at our nearest neighbour in space. But why not grab yourself a pair of binoculars, go outside when the moon's in the sky and see whether you can pick up those dark patches for yourself. But you better be quick, after all the moon is running away from us. Don't forget, if you have a question about the moon that we haven't answered then you can always ask Jake. Jake loves receiving your questions and remember the best questions get posted on the Science Made Fun website at www.sciencemadefun.org.uk Well that's all for today, so until next time remember Science, Science is fun! fun.